Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. Last time, we did Lemon Rage. Fought a bunch of dudes in a lemonade bar. Quite fun, and we actually stocked up on quite a lot of coins from that mission. I might go back there later to get just to rack up money to buy stuff. You ready to buy power ups and such. Should be right through this cave. Oh yeah! Bentley said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down. Sounds like your thing. Y E S yeah. We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Bentley. Wouldn't dream of it. Sly, phase one is to protect these power stations while Murray gets all six oil wells flowing. Use this Super Claw 10,000 to deal with any miners that might show up. Use the left analog stick to move the claw around. The X button will pick up and release items. Before you're spotted, why don't you pick up that rock and drop it in the pit? Okay, well I guess this is a good little tester here. This is easy. You do seem quite adept. The other important feature on the 10,000 model is the throwing action. Just pick up an item and press the circle button to throw them. You can throw things quite a ways. Go ahead and hit that electric fence with one of those rocks. Okay. Take this electric fence. I think I've got the hang of it. Nice shot. Let's see you do it again. What? I've already got the hang of it. Okay, I'll just do this as much as I possibly can. I'm a natural. Hope you're right, cause it looks like the miners are on to us. Defend the power stations by using everything and anything in the oil field. This electric fence should come in especially handy for dispatching guards. Here they come. Most definitely, where are the guards? Do you, are, do you say are they just over here, or no? They're all over there. At least I can see them coming. Take this, scumbag! Yeah! Ugh. Into the wall. They've got some explosives over here, too, which should help. Now, let me know, I am quite bad at this mission. Um, <laughs> just to say it. I am not the best at this, so we will see what happens. You have to really pay attention to where they're all coming from, or else they'll mess you up. See, they're heading to, like, they've, they, we've got multiple nodes to defend, and they're like heading to both of these things you gotta be very careful but at least they give you a health bar it's not like it's not like it's at least you know like how close you are to being defeated and such so it's it's pretty nice to you oh shoot pick him up get him out of here can't be hanging around here sir oh goodness I'm sorry this isn't a lot going on here but uh it's like Oh, I know, I can compare this to easily. Like, do you know those claw games? They're extremely rigged. Have you ever played one of those? Those are crazy. Now, I've seen I've seen it when, like, people have actually been able to do it. And there are ways. There are ways to, like, do those claw games, but they are pretty tough. They're, like, meant to make you cry. Just like balloons. Balloons have been... <laughs> balloons are designed to make children cry. I swear. <laughs> Why, you might ask? Well, I mean, when a um, balloons are easily lost. But yes, balloons are just so easily lost. They're so easily destroyed. They are made to make children cry. That is my philosophy on balloons. And like, I mean, it, it's, re I, it's really shocking when you pop one, too. It's just like, oh my gosh, I just popped that balloon. Oh, excuse me. That was gross. But it's just like, oh my goodness, I popped a balloon. Got another one going. It's like, it just makes you feel bad inside sometimes. I mean, not really. I have no idea why I dropped that. That could have been used as helpful material for fighting. 
but nope, I'm too good for that barrel of kerosene or what, whatever, explosive material. I wonder how, how many, like, oil things are there. I wonder. I think there's, it's like this one and then one more, but I might be wrong. Looks like there's another side of the fence, though. Okay, just one more? Or is that just one more for the side, Murray? What are you telling me that I don't know about? Are you lying, Murray? You better be telling the truth. Oh my goodness. Oh crap, I'm messing up. I'm messing up! Oh gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, like, Bentley didn't finish speaking, but he basically says we're going to light the crude oil on fire. Okay, so what do we need to do here? Let's get that oil burning. Sly, drop a flint rock on the end of that log plank. Hurry, you'll then jump on the end and catapult the rock to the oil wells. The sparks on impact should start a fire. This is the part I'm fairly horrible at, um, just to say, because there's so many... You have to get these guys who are coming at you, then run over here, grab this thing, and plop it down on here without it breaking. Goodness. Get out of the... Get the freak out of here. Goodness. Okay, we lit one, though, so that's good. We've got at least one going now. But, uh, yeah, you gotta be quick about this. You gotta be good with the claw, definitely. Heads up! Gotta get yourself... Oh, that there's not a rock. Poop. I saw a guy over here, though. Yeah. You really have to pay attention to where they're all going. Or else, like, that could... That, that's one thing that could really mess you up on this mission. If you, do, if you just don't know wh whatever... What, like, these bad guys are attacking. No, like, I, I try to, like, pull off this weird scoopy maneuver, like, while I'm moving, try to scoop them off the ground, but I'm not very good at that, and, um, it tends to not work when I do it, so I, I don't recommend attempting it. It could be, it could turn out bad. <laughs> what I find really funny, though, is when I do drop a flint rock onto that platform, it kind of just slides there, even though I didn't, like, really put it there well. It's, it's like magic. Magic flint. Get out of here. Why are you... Get out of here, you and your whip. Goodness. This isn't safe. My, this mining camp is just full of angry people. Oh, poop. Why don't we just launch one of these jerk jerks over there at it? I'm sure Murray wouldn't mind. I mean, he seems to like throwing people distances. differential should draw the deep uranium and rich glowing oil to the surface. We'll need to be extremely careful in retrieving a small sample. Fly! Fly! Look at me! I'm glowing! Woo! Murray, I really suggest you do not dance in the uranium. That's not good for you. I'm fairly certain that that may cause some major health issues. Okay, so Hungry Croc. I might be able to do that in this episode. I'll see. Depends. Um, I might... I don't know if I'll go and collect coins for the rest of it. I can't remember how fast... I don't... I think this mission is long, though. Or it might be... I can't remember if this one... If this is one of those, like, short missions or not. I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll try to do it in this episode. Um, we do have ten minutes left. I don't know. Can I do it in five? Or, I mean, five minutes left. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. And gosh, Sly, stop getting more stuff. I keep buying all this crap for you, and it keeps popping back up in the store. Ugh. I'm gonna buy something for Bentley just because he, is, he deserves it. I've been neglecting him. <laughs> okay. Murray, it's your time to shine. Get on out there. We'll do this, mi we'll do this mission in this episode.
time we subtracted a few miners from the equation. You know I don't understand that math talk. Uh, we need to, uh, uh put the smack down on these, uh, uh, bad dudes for justice. Righteous! I'm the man for the job! The guru will start luring miners to a position near this giant crocodile. Your job is to throw the thugs into the mouth of the monster. Teach him to like eating miners, huh? That's a sinister plan, Bentley. I approve! With some luck, the oversized reptile will be an invaluable asset in our efforts to drive away the miners. He might even take care of our Mask of Dark Earth problems. I've spotted it prowling near the safe house. Roger! It's feeding time! Hi, Eddie! Ice knows something we haven't seen. Ice knows that we haven't seen Carmelita at all here. I guess ha we we haven't seen her one bit. There's been no Carmelita at all. <laughs> oh shoot! Get over here. Did you? Did Murray just wonder? Say he wondered if the miners tasted good. Murray. Don't eat people. Yes, they're evil, but you don't need to eat them. That would not be good. Oh, come on, we need to lay the smackdowns on these bad dudes for justice. Come on. There we go. We've almost taught them to eat, like, dingoes to the fullest potential. Now we need to get them a liking on kangaroos. Shoot. Um, I don't want to die. I could easily die in this situation if I don't get some health quick. And okay, it seems like we've cleared the area out a bit. You wanna you wanna try to get as many as you can. And if like if it starts backing up on you too much, try to like try to not die like that. That's not usually what you want to happen. Come here, kangaroo. We're just gonna toss you over there. Duh! Get out of here. You suck, sir. Why'd you even do that? Yeah, dinner's ready for Mr. Guard here. Get over there, because he's dinner. No, okay, so... Took out two guards in one. I don't know how I feel about that, though, because it didn't get the job done. Gosh, there are too many guards any everywhere. Guards, guards, guards. So many guards. We need to take care of this menace. This guard menace. Shoot, all these guys hitting me. It's so hard to keep up with like the massive amounts of enemies flooding into the area son of a dingle my goodness this is not safe at all okay I can do like the instant kill move but this is not safe jeez get over there just n nom them off gosh yeah this this mission I remember it can be a little tricky if you're if you can't if you get like if these guys get out of hand stop giving me kangaroos I need dingoes I already got rid of the kangaroos oh shoot I killed him in one hit son of a duh that's annoying these guys with their whip attack they're so fast they're quite fast in fact get over there get out of here I'm gonna serve up the justice to the bad dudes smack goodness Okay, but yeah, these guys have like a super quick whip attack. Quite dangerous. Shoot. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at fighting. Too many enemies all at once. So, oh gosh, get out of here. Okay, just, I'm gonna teach you to meet this wonderful friend named Crocodile. Eat, eat him. I've located one and marked him with a waypoint. Remember, you'll need to sneak up on this guy in order to grab him. A flashlight guard, huh? Hmm. Why just one? We had to, like, get him to eat, like, five of everyone else. I get you, Bentley. Hey there! Wanna go meet my crocodile friend? His name's Crocodile, and he lives in the, uh, lives in the sea of green muck. Um, his name's not really Crocodile. I think I'll, I'll name him like I don't know. What do I want to name him? 
Name him Desmond. Desmond's a pretty cool name. Meet Desmond. Take cover, Murray. Here comes a guard wearing the mask of Dark Earth. Let's see if all of your hard work with this croc pays off. Tarnation, that mask keeps getting away. Since when do masks get away? You can feel it in the air. The miners are about to pack it in. In fact, they'd probably already be long gone if it weren't for the corrupting influence of the Mask of Dark Earth. It's clear we need to destroy it. Time for Operation Moon Crash. To start things off, we'll need the Guru to take out the Gyrocopter. With it gone, we'll have clear skies for Phase 2. Now, according to Aboriginal folklore, the Mask of Dark Earth is the sworn enemy of the Moon Spirit. So, given Murray's moon shape, we'll coat him in the glowing oil and have him pose as the spirit. We'll then dangle him from the crane. The Mask is sure to spot his ancient foe and come running. That's when we'll strike. Murray, thunderflop off the crane and obliterate that mask. With the mask destroyed and the miners run off, the Guru will be free to join the team for the Cooper Vault job. Awesome. So, we're basically just gonna slap radioactive oil all over Murray and uh, drop him on a mask. That's that 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 could work out. I could I can see that. Uh, but yeah, who do we need to start the mission? Just Sly? Okay. Operation Moon Crash. Um, I think the time changed. I'm not entirely sure. It might not have, but it still looks really amazingly pretty at night. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and in the next episode of Let's Play Sly 3, Honor Among Thebes, we will begin Operation Moon Crash. See you guys then. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.